It's been an amazing journey for 10 years. I, it's hard to believe it was only 10 years ago that there were the four of us sitting in a small conference room dreaming up this idea. So we started DIG with the intention to really want to work closely with our community. Well, it was very purposeful to kind of create a, a culture and an atmosphere and an office environment that was almost a family culture where we could really be responsive to our people and to our clients. We like to say that it's years and years of experience with the spontaneity of being young and fresh and we built on that and continue to be a company that leads listens and provides our clients with the best service possible. We tend to value the human experience in a way that might be different than other firms. And that's where the human and the nature kind of came together. How community comes together and how you use the space. The social interactions that take place at these parks or these plazas. Human nature is so important because it's about connecting people with the natural world. We want to build stewards of the environment through our work. It really sums up what we do in terms of creating places that people will use, people will come back to over and over. I really like working with DIG. I think they bring a lot of skills to the table. They bring an extra passion about like that love for nature and the human experience. I think at its core, it's about the connection that we have with nature, why a lot of us are connected to this profession. I think that our clients really understand when we speak to them that how much we care about this and how important our work is to us. You know, it's being able to understand the design aspect that they're wanting to achieve, but also understanding their business line and really think about how best to get them to hit their goals while succeeding from a community standpoint, being able to deliver something of value to the community. I think that's the magic and what the Dig Studios has been able to bring the community together through the parks and the landscapes and the amenities that they've brought to our projects. We uh, are very fortunate to be working on, I think, some very impactful, what we refer to our legacy projects, you know, things that uh, will shape communities and enhance communities for, you know, generations and generations to come. I really love Paco Sanchez Park because it's such an amazing example of connecting people to each other through the spaces that we create. I absolutely love infill projects. It's one of those where there's a community, there's a context that you can really get much more focused on, on meeting that need and projecting out kind of the future in that space. Central Park Station, which was previously Stapleton Airport, and one of the reasons why it's so important is that we have spent over 20 years helping to create community that is beloved by the people who live there. It's expanded the open space system for the city of Denver by 25%. There is such a direct connection to people's happiness and health and the health of the world with what we do as a profession. And it makes it really meaningful. It's really about the clients and the environment and the, uh, the neighborhoods we deal with in the community and doing the right thing. If you're contributing to the greater good, you're contributing to relationships at all different levels. What started DIG was a desire to really become more hands-on, and so I don't see that changing. We'll just hopefully have the opportunity to engage with more communities and do more great work.